Good evening. You're on the air. Hello, Bill. Hello. Yes. Um, I just, uh, Turn off your radio, please. I've been doing research um, and you know, following up on the Masonic aspect of the New World Order. Uh huh. And I agree with you uh, when you say that this country is a Masonic Republic, and I understand all of this. What I can understand is if these people are so after world domination, why would they give us a chance? Uh, act in this great Masonic experiment, why wouldn't they just have it locked down 100 years ago? Because it wasn't a chance. It was a sure thing. They, under our forefathers, if you read their writings, they knew more about human nature than any psychologist that lives on the face of the earth today. They knew we would give up our freedoms in exchange for benefit our liberties and preserve the, the Republic. They also gave us uh, everything in the Constitution that we could use to destroy our own selves. They understood that human nature is such that if we can get something for nothing, and if we think it's for nothing, that's the way we're going to go. And that's exactly what has happened. So it was just sort of a hollow gesture, because they knew what the outcome would be. Well, not only it wasn't a hollow gesture, they had to establish this country in order to give the common man a taste of freedom for the first time in the history of the world. This had never happened before. It was the catalyst that toppled the kings and queens from their thrones in Europe. It took away the power that opposed them. Number two, it was to prove to the common man that he could not rule himself. They knew that human nature, common man would, would, through his human nature, his human foibles and failings, give up everything that they had given us, and then that would be, that would be the reason quoted to us in the New World Order why we cannot have those liberties or freedoms. I see. And so actually, this was set up as uh, the power transference was taken away from the old the uh, uh, aristocrats. That's right, and this, this country was the instrument which would bring into the world the new world order, and it was all put into the great seal of the United States. If you know how to s interpret the symbolism of the mysteries, it's all right there. Who they were, what they were about, and what they intended to, to bring about is, is right there in the great seal. I see. Um, did you know that Albert Pike is buried in the walls of the House of the Temple in Washington, D.C.? Yes. Yeah. Um, and also, what is the U.N. Meditation Room? <laughs> it is a place where those who understand the, the religion of the New World Order uh, go to meditate and uh, practice through symbology the religion right there in the United Nations. Okay, Bill. Well, thank you very much, Bill, and be careful. You're welcome. Thank you.